go Tam. All right, this is John with Your Music Magazine. I'm here with uh, Fate Under Fire, following up on the Band Olympics coming out. You guys are playing uh, September 2nd at the Boardwalk. And uh, first off, let's just start with uh, what's your name and what do you play? I am Jonathan and I play drums. I am John and I play guitar. I'm Raphael, I play guitar. I'm Alvi, I play bass. I'm David and I sing and play piano. All right, so how long has this uh, um, troupe been this way? Like since the day you guys started or there have been a few changes? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, this group in particular, honestly, probably about a month or two. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Probably about a month, yeah, a month or two. Um, yeah, we, we play stuff that you know was written with, before with other members yeah. and stuff like, that used to be there um, and stuff that I wrote a long time ago and then we're kind of starting to write together too. So that's cool. Um, so... Man, 2008, I guess. Okay. When Fate and Fire like kind of started. Absolutely. So you guys, as of right now, um, the newest you know formation of the group, uh, recording at the moment with singles or. All you guys... recording. As you can tell, we're in. Our yeah, room. exactly. The, the saloon studios. If you see a saloon. Nice. In there. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> no, yeah, we uh, we're we're blessed to be able to to record our own material in here. You know. Um, we just recorded uh, a song recently. That, yeah. Um, it's pretty brand new. So. Yeah, we have a new song coming out. Um, it's called "Don't Love You," and um, if you're on our email list, we're giving that to them first. That's like gotcha. the perks of being on our email list. Um, and then you know we'll probably release it to everyone else. But um, yeah, that, that's the latest one. We haven't quite released that yet. It's ready. We're just yeah. For the right time, I guess. So that's gonna be a solely uh, digital release yeah. until maybe an album comes out. And, yeah. You know. So how do you get onto the email list? Um, well, if you want to email us directly, you can do it at fateunderfire at gmail dot com. Okay. Um, or you can send a send us a message on like Facebook or MySpace or whatever so you want to be on the email list, and, and that way, you know, we'll just throw you on there. Sweet. So then, um, it's kind of like one by one tracks that you guys are recording right now, and yeah, you know, we we had our EP that came out okay. like a year ago, and that's um, that's like a four songer, and you know, we have like three other songs too that. that but that came out like May of '09, right? Last year, mm -hmm. yeah, it came out May of last year. No, March, yeah, March, May. Okay. When it came out, we did a short little two-week tour of, uh, to support that, and then came right back into it and started recording some more stuff. Gotcha. Oh yeah. So as far as like um, this kind of band Olympics band uh, battle of bands atmosphere, are you guys used to that, or is this kind of well, a new? We've only, we've only played. Uh, well, David and I played. Um, the Sac, uh, Sac State Battle of the Bands in 2009 last year, I believe it was in February. Okay. And that's the only real Battle of the Bands we've ever done, so this is going to be you know, the second one we've, we've ever been asked to play, yeah. so it should be fun. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, Your Music Magazine, and this is the second time this year they're doing it in Sacramento, so obviously there's a response, you know, people are coming out for it, and it's, I mean, a good opportunity, because uh, the, first, the first time we did it was like mainly metal bands. There is quite a few, but now it seems like you guys, there's uh, quite a few different styles. Arden Park Roots are in it. Um, they're just all over eclectic, so that obviously brings more people to your table that wouldn't have you know, regularly been there, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is probably one of the best things about Battle of the Bands. Yeah, we're really fortunate to be asked by you, know, you guys. Well, we actually, there's actually... We were asked, but I actually, I actually can actually submit. I just nice. Crazy thing, but, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's cool that you asked by, uh, by your music magazine because you know I've I've known about your music magazine for a long time. You yeah. know, because we were even down in Santa Cruz County, Monterey County, there's magazines down there. Yeah. You get to hear about music from Sacramento, from the Bay Area, down from Santa Cruz County, Monterey County, and it's just just awesome that you know so many. This magazine is able to put together all these different bands from. Pretty much all of Northern California, right. and they Absolutely. move down south, right? Don't they? Yeah. yeah, there's a yeah. They're starting to distribute it's down uh, in LA, Ventura, yeah. and every. Yeah. And that that's really cool because uh, you know it's it's one of the you know free, like one of the only free pub you know music publications out there, right? Yeah, that's that's spanning. Yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> a lot of them, and especially with you know the journalism industry, the way things are going now with the whole digital stuff it's like that's yeah. cool that you guys still stay in a yeah because I mean here in Sacramento there's a couple other free zines that are pretty big but that's as far as they go right. is city district yeah. so I mean and, and everywhere you go San Francisco there's tons of free zines there music zines yeah. and LA but your music magazine's the only one that's like 
having hands in all different counties, all different areas. And like Avi said, you know, I mean, he and I went to Cabrillo actually. And okay. So we were down there in Santa Cruz and for a while and whatnot. We're from that area. Nice. And so yeah, we always used to just like you know follow and stuff like that. So it's kind of cool. So how how the main connection like how how did all you guys meet as far as like <laughs> well you're obviously originating member. Um, is there anybody else that's originally member? Or? Right. Okay, well, Alvin. He, well, technically no, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've, been around, I've been around the longest. I've been around for about two years. Yeah. Yeah, two years. I've been in the band for about two years. And then, okay. I've known this guy all my life. <laughs> Touche. They're kind of brothers. We're brothers. <laughs> we're brothers. Hey. Yeah. Um, and we're so, we're soul brothers. Yeah. yeah we're, <laughs> so, so after yeah, you know when when we were looking for new members, David and I were tossing around ideas as to who we should have for the Lynn and. I brought up the idea of having my brother because he's, you know, he's been playing guitar as long as I know. You know, he's he's a uh, trained, you know, through jazz and stuff. And I was, I told him, I was like, we gotta try him out. So my brother came into into this picture, and then I was impressed with him. Yeah. I was like, well, yeah, it's great, you know. And he sings, you know. One thing, the old Fader and Fire kind of wasn't. It was all kind of just one singer. And gotcha. Now we've got like four. Oh, yeah. you know, oh, sweet. So, yeah, yeah nice. it's amazing. Um, I think, uh, yeah. So Raf, you know, obviously that's how that went down. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, John kind of came about a different way. You want to tell him how? Yeah, well, um, <laughs> I guess you have my perspective. Hey, well, yeah, I know, right? No, it, it was it, not to sound weird, but it, it was it was totally meant to happen. I, I walked in, yeah. I, I walked into a guitar center, and I just I had strings to buy. Yeah, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna wait a little while. Uh, for no, even though I couldn't afford anything in the back, I said I'm gonna go there and look for something I can spend money on anyway. So I go back there. And, <laughs> I inevitably don't get anything because the guys there uh, didn't have what I wanted. So finally decided to walk to the front. And right as I walk in, this uh, uh, ruggish, good-looking boy came up. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, in front of us was this guy who, for, I, like, literally for about, he wasn't planning on buying anything. He even said it for about 10 minutes. It was him, me, and then David right behind me. He's just talking to the guy behind the counter about his amp and how much he loved it. Like, Okay, okay. He just, the guy behind the counter I just love this amp. Dude, I really love this amp. Yeah, have you ever heard of it? Like, it's just a great amp. And when I turn it to this number, it sounds great. I was like, okay. I turn it to 11. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, which doesn't matter because my amp turns to 12. So <laughs> There you go. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. And, uh, Spinal Tap's got nothing on it. <laughs> None more black right now. <laughs> so, anyway, so, so he had left. And then comes the next guy I can't stop talking, which is me. <laughs> and I continue to bug the guy about the cheapest pair of strings I can get. Oh, and I was giving the guy a hard time because he said it was a sale and it wasn't on the size strings I wanted. And then he, I needed picks too. And, and so David's standing behind me. I'm like, well, how many picks are in that bag versus that one? And like a 10 cent difference just because I'm cheap. At least five minutes. Yeah, yeah, at least five minutes to pick out a, a, a strings, bag of five picks. Four strings, five strings, or whatever. And so, <laughs> e even with all that, with all that said, um, afterwards, you know, David kind of tapped me on the shoulder. You, uh, you, you play guitar? You play the guitar? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you looking for well, a band? What do you play? Uh, lead, rhythm, uh, rhythm. Oh, we're, we're <laughs> it's like oh, seven different yeah. stories. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> in any case, and, and, and we ended up having like a 30-minute conversation right there in Guitar Center yeah. and, uh, and hit it off. And, Magical. And two days later, uh, they got married. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> two days later, both of our girlfriends then started calling us girlfriends of each other. Yeah, they were calling jealous. each other. Yeah, because we were all yeah, like, like, getting <laughs> each I was other. excited about John. I was like, yeah. Oh my gosh, he, he does this too? And like, I'm just so excited about it. So anyway. And, uh, and yeah, that was that's that. how we met him. And then, actually, one of our. Uh, I had a, uh, we, had, we had a mutual friend um, who, that I've known since high school. And she uh, she's also a, a local band promoter. And, you know, we kept in contact. So uh, I've been playing in a couple different shows. And uh, I mostly kind of did some last stuff with my uncle's band and a couple things with friends. But nothing ever too serious. And, you know, you know, she and I were just kind of hanging out one day, and I told her that I'd been looking for a band that was that was looking for a drummer, but I haven't had any luck. So she's like, "Hey, you should talk to David and, and this group, Fade Under Fire. They're looking for a drummer, and you know, they have a website and all this other stuff." We have so, a website, so you know it's good. So Laura Delight, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you, Laura. Appreciate it. So, um, so I, 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 after that, that was over, 
I was sitting in my room, paranoid because wondering does Peter the really exist? Is there really a David? Should I contact him? Should I not contact him? <laughs> if he doesn't like me, David is difficult. Like, oh, what, what am I gonna wear? Yeah, what am I gonna wear? What am I gonna say? You know, all these other things. I finally just <laughs> like the first stage. Yeah, yeah. After after after, after a while of, of paranoia and deciding whether or not I was gonna go go through with it, I decided I'd send him an email because that was the safest way. And I can get away the fastest. Yeah, a lot of emails. And, um, you know, communication went very well. And, you know, he uh, sent me the link uh, to the website that, that has uh, that has all the, their EP on it. So I took a while to run the songs. And after a while, they set up a date for me to come out here. And we played. And yeah, you know, we, we, we tried out probably like 15, 20 drummers. Yeah. Um, and Sacramento, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Professional drummer. That's, it's, that's uh, definitely hard. It's, it's not easy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he learned the stuff really quick. And, um, yeah. You know, we, we were happy with him, and he's got a great, great uh, attitude. And, um, yeah, he does have a good attitude. <laughs> <laughs> David, <laughs> used, <laughs> David used to be a drummer. That's like that's that's. Oh, you know, uh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so he, so so you know, when we're playing, you know, we're like, okay, it goes like this, goes like that. But you know, they they're very in tune with what's going on with each other. So they gotcha. have like, a live dialogue about. Well, it doesn't go da 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 da. It goes da 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 da. And us were like, okay, cool. And so they have like this whole thing going. It's like a foreign language. If we speak really, really fast, we tend to be aggressive. You swear that we were like having a fight or something. When the director <laughs> was saying, you know, hey, play it like this. Okay, so what did you do yesterday? As long as you get to, you know, translate perfectly what you actually want to hear, then yeah, yeah, you're yeah. freaking golden. It's drummer, drummer speak. Yeah, well, yeah absolutely. Yes, it it's always funny to hear, uh, like, guitarists or bassists that don't play drums try to tell the drummer what to play. Yeah, you know, the, 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 Bing and the rhythm that goes yeah, exactly. <laughs> what is that? That would be a symbol. That doesn't go bang? No, that goes bang. See, that's how we all met. We've all been probably playing together, man, not that long, probably a month or two. So. Oh, wow. So it's really, oh, yeah. it's, it's, and it's... Hit the ground running for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we got, we got the troop now, yeah. full throttle. Uh, what's next for you guys? More like, we got that September 2nd show, yeah. and then what else is coming up? We got a mini tour, a little more uh, recording. Yeah, you know, we're, the tour thing, um, <laughs> if something great comes along, you know, cool. Right now, we're, we're uh, in September anyway. We have a couple, quite a few different shows. We have September second with you guys. We have we're playing that at night. You know, obviously, like whenever it starts, seven or eight. I don't know if uh, eight probably, I think. Um, and so anyway, we had that in the morning at six in the morning. The September third, we're playing KCR Regional three. Oh wow! The morning show. Nice. So yeah, tune in for that. Um, <laughs> so no sleeping on that night. Huh? Yeah. No <laughs> Come back here and practice. Go to bed. I don't know what's gonna happen. Go to bed to eat. And, then, go um, and then yeah, so yeah. September third, and then we're playing the Fountains in Roseville, which okay. uh, people who aren't familiar with that, it's across the street from uh, Galleria, Galleria Mall. Yeah. And it's just this like great, you know, like pavilion Outside, type. Outside, yeah. Yeah, and so uh, we're playing there for like two hours, seven to nine on uh, eight. Uh, on the eighth. Okay, so September 8th at uh, the Fountains. The Fountains. And then we're headlining a show at the Boardwalk. I'm not sure if we're headlining anymore, but we're playing a show. <laughs> we're playing a show. We're playing a show on the 17th. 17th, okay. Yeah, with, uh, we'll be there. Yeah, we'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what order it is, we'll be there. Yeah. Absolutely. So uh, the 8th at uh, Fountains. And if uh, you can always get a shot of tequila at Tres Agave there. Yeah, and, it's, free, uh, it's free. It's free show. It just opens so you can play some video games there. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone says it's awesome. It is. It is awesome. I'll go in there. I'll get lost. You won't fight me. Crazy times. In the pit. Yeah, it's like a hyped up adult Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, so September 8th, like, like we were saying, uh, it's going to be two hours. So like right now we're like, oh, okay. going on, on that. But we're probably going to do like half acoustic, half for like half a uh, nice. rock thing. We're still figuring out like the, the kinks and stuff. But. Sweet. And uh, most people can find you on MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, Twitter. all the, all the uh, network. Fakeunderfire.bandcamp.com. Yeah, that's another one. That's, that's where you can download our, our EP yeah, for, for free. Okay. All of our stuff for free. And then uh, FadeUnderfire at Gmail for um, email. Yeah. For email. Yeah. There's so many different things here. Yeah. I would just like to have everybody go to one. Um, <laughs> if you go to any of those, the MySpace has all the links on there. It does. It has our Bandcamp, has our big cartel where you can get all, all our merch, okay. our CDs, has our Twitter, our Facebook. So yeah. The there you go. MySpace.com slash is a good one to go And to. then if you want to go to any other site, you find it there. Yeah. For sure. Perfect. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, Fade Under Fire, thank you very much. Uh, we'll see you September 2nd. Yeah. And that boardwalk. And uh, catch you later.
sweet.